number one rated Champions League. The showstopper. What drives me is to be the best ever who played the game. <laughs> I compete FIFA to win. Be the best. I'm super competitive. I'm a hard worker. <laughs> Everyone knows have the passion. Super high intensity. Representing a team. Yeah, I love competing. Representing a nation. You need that ego. It's all about football in my life. Become the best. Never take anything too serious. Just be like how oh, <laughs> Keep playing and never stop. I am the best at this. A great FIFA team is of course my FIFA World Cup. It's the biggest goal of a FIFA pro. This year I was the best player in Australia. I'll gladly take that. Last season I finished semi-final and second in the world in the Global Series. So I hope we will be here for a long time. Winning the ECL changed my life. To be the first ECL champion, um, it's a great feeling. Winning the FIFA World Cup, FIFA 18, was my biggest achievement. First year, played one tournament. Second year, I got a lot of more tournaments, and in the third year, I think it's time for me to win a major. When I won the FIFA e World Cup back in 2014, Ronaldo Di Nazario handed over the trophy. It was uh, kind of surreal. The one player who's definitely changed the, the, the game has to be Tex. The, the kid's incredible <laughs> at like two, three different games now, so he's only going to get better. I play a lot of other games with my friends when FIFA's not about. I can happily say I'm a top 100 Madden player. Not even 18 yet, so God help everyone when he turns 18 and he just destroys everyone again. <laughs> my mum sits with me every qualifier. She was the one that actually got me into competitive FIFA. My generation is very young, like Tex, me, Rosari. I hope we will be here for a long time in FIFA. We have less experience maybe, but we are young, so we don't expect anything. We just come and play and maybe it helps us. It's for me a bit dangerous. I hope that not more of Texas comes in the scene. I'm from the old school and I'm one of the very last left, if you can say it like that, who are still competing on the higher stage. So I also feel like I have some sort of responsibility to keep repping the OGs. <laughs> The thing that sets me apart from other players, I guess, would just be my unpredictability. My ability to adapt the game will give me the advantage. I like to consider myself as an upside trap specialist, and uh, for now it's working. And there's this new skill move that like, I've been doing. It's really good, no one knows what it is yet. Bang, I, I whip it out, and I could win a tournament, so. I think my play style is really interesting for the viewers because I play really attack football. I think when I can play my game, when I press high, defend also good, and score my goals, it's hard to beat me. I definitely trust the La Croqueta, and should I be in doubt, I can always just call my teammate Marcuso and he will have the receipt for me. The feature is gonna help me the most is the new tackling system. I think last year I had some troubles with it during competitions, and as it is more manual this year, I think it will be much better for the better players. I'm looking forward to the new manual defending. I think it will really require more skill, and it will improve the skill gap for next year. Defending, I hate people who use the AI. I'm all manual, I always just run at people with my defenders. When I see someone using the AI, I wanna I wanna I wanna damage them when they're playing FIFA. <laughs> I wanna put like five past them. Some of the sacrifices you have to make is uh, time away on the weekend. I had the last year of the school and the first year of the, my FIFA eSports, so it's not easy to handle both. I can't go out like always, but uh, it's okay, you can you can live normally and have a normal life. I have the opportunity to live by my passion, which is amazing. So I will do it all over again. I have consistency. In the last three years, I was a champion in each year, and I'm the only player who done that. Proving people wrong for two years now. My goal is to be world champions every year. I know it's big, but uh, why not? I've always won the first tournament. If I can win the first tournament again, I'll be free in a row, so yeah, that'd be sick. I want to be known as one of the best players ever in history. More importantly, I want to be remembered as someone who try to make a difference for the community and, most importantly, be known as a, a good guy. For the players.